Good morning, Central Texas. Welcome to Kids Community Connections, 103.1 Kids FM. I'm Phyllis Jones, your host for this morning, and y'all know I'm not happy because I don't have on a jacket this morning. I just got on simple sweaters, so I need my cold weather back because y'all have to admit, cold stops crime. It kills germs. It does, and it makes people happy to be with each other because they got to keep each other warm. So I'm not happy about that. But what I want to talk about first before I talk to my two lovely guests, I have two sets of guests, which is great this morning. But um, Tuesday, it's first day for early voting in the primary. And it's also Frederick Douglass's birthday. Ah, y'all didn't know that, did you? So you know what? I want everybody to quit compl- everybody, all the people who complain about how things are going. You know, you complainers, you know. Well, I want you to complain and go to the polls and vote. The primary starts Tuesday, 7 a.m. You need to be there or shut up. And I did say that. I really did. You know, because if you don't vote, you can't complain. You just sit there and be happy with the rest of the folks who sit back and complain. But you exercise your right to vote. Uh, We have that right. We got that voice. So we have no reason not to vote. You know, if you like the way things are going, then like I said, continue and don't vote. But if you want some change, you got to step up to the plate. You got to go vote. And you need to take somebody with you. You really do. So uh, like I'm saying again, starts Tuesday. And also remember on the primary election, early voting, you have to declare what party you're in. You have to. So, you know, there and there's no Green Party. <laughs> there's just Democratic and Republican Party. So you have to declare for the primaries uh, when you go in to pose the vote. And a couple other things you need to do. One, take the proper ID. Don't go in there with, I didn't bring anything, because you're going to walk right out the door. Second, if your poll precinct where you go vote at, where you're going to vote, uh, a voting site, if they ran out of ballots, don't accept the copy ballot, because it won't fit into the machine, and uh, you'd be hoping and praying that they to deliver it, and they might not. Also, if they run out of ballots and they tell you to come back, don't come back, don't leave. You stay there until the clerk brings some more and then you vote. But remember, um, don't leave. Don't vote on the copy ballot because those things don't work at all. Now, you know, um, I'm really big on voting because that's the only way we change things. And, you know, the candidates, you know, candidates will tell you I'm here for you. Well, they're lying to you because I'm telling you, you can't speak for me if you don't speak to me. So remember that when the candidate tell you that, you know, I'm for you, they didn't speak to you. They can't say nothing for you because they don't know what you want. So, you know, let's correct that and make sure the candidates know they work for you. You do not work for them. So starting Tuesday, go vote. Now, kids, we voting on Tuesday. Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated are voting on Tuesday. So I assume since I put that challenge out there a couple of weeks ago, I assume they're the only ones voting. Wait, hold up. Nighthawks, y'all going to vote on Tuesday? Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, Nighthawks going to vote on Tuesday. See, we got this. We got three. So I guess nobody else going to vote. So we're going to take it over then because we're the only ones that's voting. Okay, now, let's go. I'm finished with that soapbox. I'm going to move on. You know, last year, no, I think it was, yeah, last year, I met a group of short people. They're basketball players. And I said short because you all know I'm only five, one and a half. <laughs> and, you know, not only, but they're, they're, they're the Nighthawks and they're basketball players. But not only are they basketball players, they're also community supporters. You know, because I think that teams and groups that do things, professionally at what they do and but also give back to the community they are awesome because that's when our community grows and the Nighthawks um, I've, they've been to a couple of places where I've been and, and invited them to and when they show up and when they leave they leave their presence behind uh, some of the kids that I'm gonna say to school East Ward think they're the greatest men in the world and if you ask those kids, they will say they're professional ball players like the other teams are because that's what they mean to these group of kids. And these group of kids are kids who don't see, and I'm going to say it, men in a positive light. But they think the Nighthawks are like, you know, oh, my gosh, uh, they're, they're the men that they see in a positive light. And, you know, when you change the mind of a kid like that, that means the whole world. So first of all, Nighthawks, I want to thank you. Jason. <laughs> I'm saying Jason because he said he wasn't going to talk. But thanks. <laughs> Jason is the owner. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Okay, now I need to ask you a question. Then we're going to talk about the other team that's here too. Nighthawks. What brought in the community part? Um... Uh, it's always been a big part ever since I got out of the military and retired. Um, and my whole staff, my coaching staff, uh, from the head coach all the way down, we're all retired. So that's something that's dear to us. Um, 
we want to bring our youth up the right way. Uh, we all believe that it takes a village to raise kids. It's just not parents, it takes a village. So our organization, our professional basketball team, uh, we have young men, young professional athletes that is required by them to do community service. Mm -hmm. So the money and proceeds that we get, it doesn't go in our pockets. It goes right back into our youth program. Um, so that goes with our gym calls, uh, uniform. So parents, single parents, even dual income parents, they don't have to pay outrageous uh, prices for you know tournaments and things of that nature. So we can actually do you know, actual real, you know, practices, right. um, teach the kids fundamentals, get kids off the streets. Hey, if they're going to be in the parks, let them be in the parks doing something productive, not mm -hmm. actually, you know, looking at some, you know, uh, uh, a car to break into uh, or hanging out at Target up to no good, you know. So that's what our program is all about. And that's what and it's such a struggle because we're fighting constantly, you know, with, you know, the community to get the support that it's, it's, it's a constant battle. You know, some of the constant battle comes from, it's not just here, it's everywhere. Uh, people are used to, someone will say, okay, we're gonna do this from this time to this time. And then after they do it, they disappear. You know what I mean? So you're fighting the fact that you have people who are going to say something and they do it once, then they disappear and you never see them again. So it makes it a hard trusting thing to happen. So it takes a few years for everybody to go, oh, wait a minute, hold on, they're really going to stay here. Well, I, in, and I, I, I listen to that mm -hmm. and I understand why, I, you know, I play the devil's advocate. Mm -hmm. I understand why the people might disappear because it gets so frustrating because your heart might be in the right direction. Right. And like for this whole season, I paid out my own pockets. I've had two sponsors, you know, two sponsors that really to really come out of their own pockets. Uh, Budweiser and then Levi uh, Levi Rogers Remax. Right. And then also I've had um, great one of the great uh, sponsors, big a supporter of mine is. Um, Operation Phantom Support. Yeah, I know them. Yeah, um, yeah. they they've really the, the yeah. three of them have really dug deep and helped us. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, for somebody that's going in his own bank account to really help support the community, you know, after a while you get tired. Yes. You know, so yeah. after a year and you you're spending like twenty grand. You know, because mm -hmm. you're not just doing for the youth program, you're also doing for your professional athletes. You you kind of like, wait a minute. I can be putting this towards my own family mm -hmm. because sometimes you're like from for me, I'm putting my own family to the side and I'm doing more for the community than right. my own family. You know, and that's what the community don't understand that this does. None of this goes back in my pockets. This this is for the my the community mm -hmm. you know each one of my players and my coaching staff we do this from the kindness of our heart because you know people can complain all day long right you know but what's the sense of complaining if you as an individual don't take the time out to try to change mm -hmm. you know being in the military all day long i used to tell my soldiers all day long don't come to me with a complaint come to me with a, a solution right anybody can complain Come, come to me with a, a, a solution. Yeah. And that's what I tell, I'm telling myself, here's a solution. Mm. I'm, I'm finding a solution for our problem. What we do is we help the community. It's starting off with our youth. We help kids stop bullying. Yeah. We go to yeah. schools. I saw that on, a, on YouTube. Y'all had a yes. YouTube about going to a school. We go to schools yeah, where good. if a kid is getting bullied, mm -hmm. we go to their school. So the kid that's getting bullied, we go to their school, have lunch with them. Mm -hmm. We go with our our, our practice uh, our practice jer uh, jerseys, yeah. our warm ups, and next thing you know, this guy, this kid is getting went from getting bullied to being the big <laughs> man on on on, yeah. on, on campus. campus. Yeah. yeah. So those are the things that that we're trying to provide. 
you know, and it takes, if everybody had that type of mentality, then, then society as a whole will start to change. Right. But everybody needs to start to change themselves and to understand that, hey, we as, a, as individuals need to change. That's and that's true. what I'm trying to do. But well, I'll say it, and I've said it to you before, and along with the radio show, I'm the state education chair for the NAACP, so the whole state's mine. And it is mine. And I took it. And I'm also the Central Texas Area Coordinator whew, for the NAACP. So, you know, whatever I can do to help, I do it. Because I'm all about the community, all about educating the community and bringing it up. But I'm all about kids. Adults I really don't care about. <laughs> I mean, for real. Because you, cause you're allowed to make your own crazy mistakes. And if you're going to make them, you're going to make them. But the kids are ours. And we have a chance to change and re rearrange how they think and redo their, their growth. Um, before they go anywhere wrong so that's why i prefer kids than adults because like i said we can we make those cemented changes and continue going that way but we have another team with us this morning yes we have the and he see i'm gonna I'm a bust him out just because i love him and i'm just mad at him but he he thought he was not going to talk because he said his english is not that good but then i reminded i let him know that i work with three-year-olds and neither is their language so if i can understand them Okay. I can understand anybody. So good morning. How you Hi. doing? Hi, morning. My name is Takuya Okada. Uh, we come from Japan, so we have a Japanese team. That's pretty cool. Japanese team in Killeen. Yeah. Well, in our Central Texas area, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So are you the you the uh, owner? Owner, player, and the coach. Wow. So you everybody. Yes. So how many players you got? Oh, uh, we have nine players right now. And how long y'all been playing? Oh, uh, we have. Uh, 13 games already. Oh, wow. Okay. How many years? How many years? We have eight years. Oh, cool. Yes. So in Japan, your, your players, do you all do community work also? Uh, used to be, I was playing Japan League. Then after, uh, I'm trying to state, uh, play, I want to learn to the basketball. Oh, okay. Yes. So, and I'm going to ask a crazy question because I do not know. Basketball the same all over, or is it a little different? Uh, kind of difference. What's the difference? Oh, uh, we, we Japan is no good level of basketball in the world, but uh, you know, we are small player, and mm -hmm. uh, we we don't know how, how to uh, play basketball. Oh, okay. So, so that's why. So my portion is a national team that I had to coach that three by three. Mm -hmm. Oh, three X, three on three. Okay. So two years later, we have a Tokyo Olympics. Okay. Then, uh, so I want to know about the uh, culture and the uh, basketball. How do you say? Uh, mm, how how do I, how do we get that uh, stronger? Okay, gotcha. Okay, and that's cool though. That that's really cool because when Jason had told me about your all coming, I'm like, do they play the same kind of basketball? Because I know certain places rules are certain games rules have to stay the same. Yeah. You know, and the way you play, and in mm -hmm. some games, you sports you play, mm -hmm. there have to be different. So I, I wanted to know whether they're the same or different. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a crazy question. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Are you all tall or short? <laughs> uh, you know, you know, real tall, like five real, real, real. Oh, Okay, so all right, I, I just asked because I wanted to know. No, it's okay. Okay, so how how many times you been to United States playing? Oh, so my team is eight years. Okay. So before the so when I was so young, twenty twenty four. Yeah. I did work with Magic Johnson that team. Oh. And uh, I played a summer league. So professional okay. with Baron Davis. Oh, uh, Paul Pierce. Right. And uh, I got uh, oh camp. So in oh. Memphis, Penny Hardaway's camp. Okay, cool. Yeah. So tonight you're all gonna do, well, tonight y'all gonna do what? Uh, tonight uh, we have a game at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. and, and we get to see everybody play? Yes. Cool. Well, you also get to see everybody play at, well, we get to see all the players, uh, his players and my players at one at the, Oh, and on Sunday at 3 o'clock, at 3 p.m. Okay. So what are your colors? Um, Nighthawks. What are your colors? Nighthawks is, uh, it's like a purple. 
And what are your colors? Oh, we have a white and gray. White and green and white? Yeah. Oh, okay. What'd you say? Gray. White and gray. Oh, white and gray? Hmm, that's different. That's pretty different. Okay, and this, this tall person right here, who are you? My name's Stephen Moore. This is my first year with uh, Shizuku Jim Rap. Oh, he trying, look, listen, he trying to get that, that Barry White voice. You heard that? <laughs> that's, just, that's my natural voice. Ain't no this ain't no Barry. Wait, we, we, we know it, ain't. We know it, ain't. We hear him on the floor. The other, on, on the floor when he playing, got a whole nother voice. Oh, yeah, it gets deeper. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you play with the who? Uh, Shizuku Gym Rats. This is my first year uh, out of college. I spent one year at Kansas City College. Right. Uh, I went to Milton High School uh, back home in uh, Alpharetta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. And uh, to go back to what you said about basketball. Right. I mean, down to the skeleton, it's basically all the same. But in, in Japan, it's more, put it to you like this, comparing. It's like Americans, we play warrior style basketball. Right. And they play San Antonio style. I don't so everything they do is extremely strategic. Oh, okay. It's, it's three passes and a shot. It's you know working the high post. It's, it's swinging, making an extra pass. So there is there is a difference. So they play like a chess game. Oh yeah. Okay. Absolutely chess okay. Game. Yeah, definitely. So what made you play with this team? Uh, actually, my big brother uh, played with him. Um, Brandon, he played with him for for a couple years. I uh, went up and went to Japan with him, and uh, once I got out of college, it, you know, it's just my turn to step up to the plate. So you live in Japan? Uh, I will be uh, this this uh, upcoming August. So you have been there before? Pressure. Actually, yeah, I was in the military. Oh, well, not me, but military brat. Yeah, uh, okay. Um, I was born in Italy, and then three years later, my family moved to Japan when my little sister was born. Oh, okay, all so right. They knew exactly where she was born, and we had a good. That's how we kind of kicked it off immediately. Well, good. So you'll be there. For, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So what? What? Okay. Now I have no clue. But I'm gonna ask anyway. What position oh, yeah, go are you gonna play? Because I don't know another <laughs> one anyway. Uh, over there, <laughs> I'll probably be playing a little more than three and the four. You know, I, outside of my natural position where I grew up playing the two and one. But you know, basketball is basketball. You step on the floor, you break the balls out. It's all the same thing. So what are you gonna do other than basketball over there? Oh, uh, we're gonna work. I'm gonna work in this camp. Um, Going back to the community work, he right. has his own youth program teams. Okay. Um, we're actually bringing to America March 11th, I believe, the youth team. You're bringing uh, a youth team here? Mm -hmm. March 11th. Well, not here in Texas. We're going to San Francisco. Oh, okay. Um, and then to Atlanta, I believe. Um, and then I'm going to help him work those camps and, you know, work on my Japanese. <laughs> yeah, I think you would have to learn a little Japanese. Just, uh, to by. just a, well, yeah, <laughs> just yeah, you gotta learn some because can you gonna help him with his English? Oh, that's that's a trade off. He's, oh, yeah, good. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. I, I don't know Japanese at all. I, I don't. That's why I don't. I only learn German. I, I learned German and French. That was it. That's why I don't give him no flack about it. I barely speak English well. So. <laughs> 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 okay, so how did you? How did the two teams get together to play? Uh, well, he's yeah. Uh, we're 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 all in the ABA, right? Um, so our president, our president in the ABA, uh, informed us that uh, they were actually coming. So we linked up, and I just had to have the opportunity. Um, I felt that you know it'd be great, not only for me, but the community to have this chance to have an international game. Right. You know, it's not every day that you can get Japan coming yeah, out here. Yeah, right. Um, and having a game. That's so awesome. I figured, you know, let's do it. Um, so I scheduled two games. <laughs> <laughs> I scheduled two games. Um, because like I said, it's if you can't make it tonight at 7 p.m., you have tomorrow at 3 p.m. Um, so it's like after church. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, you know, it's just it's just a great opportunity for individuals to, you know, come take pictures, um, meet, greet. Right. Um, if they want to ask questions, you know, ask questions, you know, because there's they got in late or early, early this morning. It was like one <laughs> thirty this morning. Um, so it was, it was I wanted to ask him a ton of questions. But, I was, uh, but 
I, I know he wanted to get, they was hungry, and they wanted, uh, wanted to get some sleep. So I was like, okay, man, you know, because I'm more excited yes. about this game than anything because, like I said, this is something that you only dream about. Right, right. You know, this is like playing an NBA, you know, but then now you're you're playing an international basketball game. Yes. Like, that's unheard of. This this is something that not only my players can put on their resume, yeah. you know, right. this is, this, you know, I've, I've, I've brought all the cards out. Like I have scouts that, that, that are coming out. Yeah, you, have, you have one here, right? I have two, I have you, two scouts and agents. You have an agent here, right? Two. Two, so, two. So, so they think they're not talking this morning, don't yes, they? Yes, I brought two, oh. I got two that I came out um just for these two games right not only just to look at my players but for his players as well right yeah you know uh because they do not only for overseas and they do for higher level as that right so they have connections and that's why i said i wanted to really talk to uh the head coach manager player because <laughs> um, i think we can do great things um the little time that we talked, um, I see our vision is the same base. Right. So That's good. I think um, I look forward to many more opportunities of working together. So. Let me think. You have a coach here, right? One of the coaches here. He's not here just yet, because uh, he was uh, he was going to basically talk about our, our youth program beyond the arc. Well, well, now what I wanted to ask the coach is, how do you how do you coach? your players with a team that plays best the same sport a little differently that's what i wanted to ask the coach i couldn't tell you because I, I, I know yeah <laughs> I, like the right. coaches like how, how <laughs> it's, it's funny because the coaches sit on the on, on one side right and i sit on the co complete opposite right the only time i talk to them is at halftime when they approach me and they say they ask me what I think, mm -hmm. and I tell them, and then yeah. they tell me the halftime game plan, mm -hmm. and then that's it. Right. Then oh, yeah. at my coaches, I have nothing but faith in my coaches yeah. and my staff. Okay, and one of your, you said a scout? Or the, these two, Tiny Tim and... <laughs> Yeah. See, you know, I, you, you know, the, the no, tiny, we've, had, we've had a great conversation. No, no, no. It just, it just said the tiny Tim with the ukulele. I'm thinking about. <laughs> we call him. We call him. You know, she Mike. had to say that. We call him like Mike. We, we, we've, we've had a great time. So okay. From the time I, I, I picked him up from the airport <laughs> to uh, last night, um, it, it's been nonstop laughter. You know, it's, it's been. Oh, 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 y'all know you're coming in, so I don't, you know, I, I don't know why y'all standing out there like she not going to say nothing to us. <laughs> so, so good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So exactly what do you do? Uh, I'm a First, you are. Uh, well, my name is Aaron Herbert. I'm the sports agent. Okay. And my colleague here is Zaya Gregory is our player advisor and agency scout. So what do you do? Uh, well, basically he handles our day-to-day -day operations and scouts our talent. I place them <laughs> in a okay. nutshell. Yes, and also not only are we colleagues, but we're also god brothers and cousins. So okay, cool. Yeah, family, yeah, family, yeah about family. absolutely family. here. And there, at, so at you our, go all over the United States, or yes, correct, all, all over the world, world. technically speaking, <laughs> all over the world. Okay, all over the world. but uh, right. yeah, we primarily are based in Philadelphia. Okay, now I'm gonna ask a a, a, a long question. Yeah, it is. No, I mean yeah. it is, it's a question I need to know. I answer them all day. It's cool. Okay. Now I told y'all as far as the NAACP, I'm a state education chair, mm -hmm. right? You know we have a national convention every year, correct? Mm -hmm. I never seen any other. Well, unfortunately, you know, I mean, what I'm saying is the reason why because there's a lot of people that come. That is true. A whole lot of people <laughs> that come. Yeah, but our agency, as far as so, the so, so, total so, employee amount is on. No, no, no. Too. But what I'm saying is, you, you, you're, <laughs> but, you're, you have like one person maybe that could show up to some of it to mm -hmm. at least put your name out there and and who you are and what you do because mm -hmm. a lot of times there are opportunities and we walk by them mm -hmm. without knowing we need to maybe step in and go hey right right yeah uh and the reason why i'm saying this year is in, it's in, in july and it's in san antonio well, i like the fact that you brought that to us because <laughs> that's actually something to definitely put on our agenda you, you know and like i said so, you yes. might not say the whole week because I'm gonna I'm I'm make sure Jason comes to our national convention, the NAAC national convention in San Antonio this year. Mm -hmm. Because like I said, you'd never know 
who you're going to run into that is true. That's and true. you figure everybody that's important that's African American is there <laughs> yes, yes, yes. absolutely <laughs> because you know to be absolutely. there so I'm just saying that like I said we, we see opportunities right there I'm bringing it to you because I'm part of the group or mm-hmm. organization I like so I bring that, it yeah. to you because I'm saying you don't you might say there's no place for us there but you don't know that is true that is true. you know and you both might not go but one of you might say hey listen uh like I, i'll get your car with exchange information i'll send you the program you might say you know what we need to be there on wednesday mm-hmm. you know we need to be there this day yeah, I like um, the fact that you brought that to my attention because that's a platform we need to be on. <laughs> that's good. So yes, ma'am, I appreciate that. You know, and also when we hold, when each each NWC all over the United States have state conventions every year, we look for outside things to do at, mm-hmm. for the convention. So you all might say, you know what, we got a team that can do a basketball game on, on one of y'all Saturdays for the youth because mm-hmm. we have a youth and college division. Okay. And the youth and college division on their own. We share the same name, but yeah. they have their program and we have ours. But you want somebody needs to be there to say, hey, just that that, that one thing, hey. So, uh, yes, I'm inviting you. And to <laughs> and I'm saying right now, we accept. <laughs> and I'm, I'm saying in advance, we accept. <laughs> the, because no need to, to politic amongst ourselves with that one. Because I think it's to, unanimous. To me, our, our reason for being here, us, I'm mm-hmm. saying us. Mm-hmm. It, if we have information, we're supposed to give it and share it. Absolutely. My yeah. philosophy is that if you don't, you need to go die. Because I don't need you. No one needs you if you're not sharing information. Mm-hmm. And that's the way we grow. And that's the way we say, like you said, I didn't think about that. Well, no, you didn't. But so it's my job to say, hey, did you ever think about it? Yeah, and you go, no. I'll admit, I probably didn't. But right. I'm glad now that you put yeah. that bug out there. Yeah. Yeah. And you can even go to NWC's website. And they'll give you a lot of information as the months go on, as the time goes on about the national convention. But mm-hmm. uh, yes, uh, you should just. I will. I want. I want to check out the website and all the newsletters yeah. and current events and everything. Yeah, because, just say hi. Yeah, <laughs> yeah something because uh, I don't think you should only go on the NAACP website where something bad happens. So. <laughs> and, think, and, and Jason, yeah, you, you heard me right. That the, the NAACP national convention is in July in San Antonio. I'll be there. See there, you know, that, 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 that's, yeah, see. This is that, right here all the time. Anytime I can be a supporter of anything, I'm there. Especially, it, I want to represent the Nighthawks in any way possible, any way, shape, form. And see, they have a youth and college division. We have a youth and college division who are on their own. They have all the cool concerts, though, mm-hmm. which is not fair. But anyway, it's okay. <laughs> but at the National Convention, you would talk to, you, you would be talking to them. Um, and like I said, they, it's, it's, it's more of them than you think. And I'll and schedule something. And what I also can do is, since you live, since you're here, here, I'll contact the president of San Antonio branch, and you all may be, might be able to do something actually during the convention because it's a week, it's a whole week. Um, it's the second week in July, so um, it's plenty of time because he needs help getting it planned anyway. So we might be able to throw something in there extra. Mm-hmm. Just, just to do and yes you all if you all can you come they might y'all invite you come back and have a whole thing uh, that sounds like a plan <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a good plan to me <laughs> okay so what part do you play in a in a company uh, i'm the scout i actually uh you know look for talent you know see who's the best out there available for us or and what what i can do to help them and they can further their career and you take them further to where depends on uh, what markets we have available as you know, we do the world. So, you know, certain months of the year, you know, overseas is Europe, you know, you have Italy, you have Greece, you have uh, Central America, you know, they all start different times of the year. So, you know, a lot of players try to get placed during those times.